out of county ones. Yeah. If you happen to live in San Clemente and you were in San Diego and you thought I could still vote here, that vote just got shelved for 22 months and then gets shredded. Your, well, yeah, it does not go county. to Sacramento. So that's a person's vote that they went and voted out of precinct and got a ballot thinking they're voting. They didn't get to vote. The, the placebo ballot. That's what all these pink provisional envelopes are, placebos. Yeah. Well, we have too many disenfranchised Americans that uh, really... It's hard enough to get them to vote be, anyway. Exactly. They should be up in arms, but they are not, um, are not up in arms because nobody is telling them that this happened to them. I just heard... So hopefully you can get this out. I just heard from Joey today that all of the UCSD students that put their address without the room number, all of those are not going to count. So they went into provisionals. Yes. And and then they went into the redaction process. It just gets put as wrong address and it doesn't count. Do they even scan them? No. Oh, so they go directly to the shredder. Do not That's pass go. Do not collect Bernie Sanders. That's what Joey told me today. Oh. It so doesn't she, get scanned. She saw. She heard. She talked to them and found out they do that with those. Huh? Wow. Yeah, we have to. So and the, and the people are not contacted. Yeah. Is there is there any other anomalies that you want to talk about? That's that's the main ones. Yeah, the main one is uh, wrong party uh, people are all being denied a say in their next president of the United States. They're making it seem like these people were legitimately registered as American. In, in the yeah, yeah, and and it depends. It, it all depends on uh, the person. Were they wrongly registered, or did something come up to make them appear wrongly registered or to be purged off the rolls altogether? Right, and with those numbers, we have no idea. All right. We have no idea what those numbers are. All right, now, I have heard uh, about the San Diego registrar, Michael Vu, right? That's his name, That's Vu. His name. Okay, Michael Vu has a history of being involved in questionable election processes. Do you guys know anything about that? We don't, I don't personally know all the details, but I know he was involved with some election fraud that occurred in Ohio. In 2004, right? Exactly. Okay, but you don't have any details and you don't want to expand on that at all? I know that uh, I don't people know that details. worked under him were fired and uh, he ended up here in San Diego. Which is surprising. Or well, Why would our, why would our um, elected officials hire someone that... Uh, has been shown to have problems in that area, to be untrustworthy maybe in that area. Uh, why would we bring, purposely it seems, bring someone that could cause problems here? Uh, and, and he has gone through many, many elections already here uh, because he was hired a long time ago. Yeah, how, how long is, do you know how long he's been? Okay. So we have no idea. So it was short. It was sometime after the 2004 Ohio debacle. Yes. That he 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 relocated to San next, Diego. The next election, I think, after that. Yes. Yeah. He was here. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense for no. for proper enfranchisement. It does not. One no. would think they would hire people who are uh, you know who have wonderful ethics in their record. At least no, at least no history of questionable background. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, gals. Anything else you want to say to the world? Uh, please tell people they are being massively disenfranchised, and their presidential vote only because our government-run and paid taxpayer-paid poll workers are not working in the interest of the American people. They're working in the interest of the parties. And uh, the parties are not paying for this election. They have not put a penny towards running, towards everybody's hard work here. Uh, it's strictly all of the taxpayers. Therefore, all of those taxpayers should not be disenfranchised in their presidential vote. And more of them should get off their butts and get out and vote. Well, we need to get their votes to count in this election. That's so true. If you, if you will please say that. Yes. Yes, every vote count. needs to count. And they can yes. do that. They they can go back and re re-enfranchise those people 
by counting every single whiteout in the presidential area of the ballots. But if once it's whited out, they don't know. Yes, you can see the whiteout. Oh, you can see the whiteout. See yes, the whiteout. of course. Yes. Therefore, count the whiteout, whiteout as a real bona fide vote. And I think that would be the proper treatment for this election if we can get this done before they certify. Well, certify comes up in a couple of days. Yeah. Right after July yeah. 4th. Yeah. All right, gals. Thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for calling me down. I, I appreciate the uh, the lead, and I will do what I can to get this out to the public. And when you see it on Facebook, share it to everybody, right? Oh, yes. Thank you.